Oh, a weekend brunch. Don't you just love the relaxed pace? You get to slow down. And I think I also like it because you get to treat yourself right. Just give yourself that little something extra. And these best banana muffins are that something extra. And they're extra large too. So let's get right to it. What I love about a good banana muffin is having a little crunchy streusel on top. And that's what I'm starting with here. I have half a cup of all-purpose flour, and I'm going to add to that a third of a cup of granulated sugar, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then I've already melted a quarter cup of butter. She mixes it. When it comes time to plan weekend brunch. With a spoon. Sometimes you want to go over the top and, and make some crazy elaborate things. But there are times you want to sleep in a little bit. So these muffins are so quick to put together, but you'll look like a superhero pulling them out of the oven as if you woke up, oh, just hours before. When you have the time to make a banana muffin, that's something special. I'll just set that over here. She grabs a new bowl. All right, let's get to the muffins. Two very, very ripe bananas. She peels them. Not just very ripe, very, very ripe. You wanna have some black spots. They're gonna be super sweet and have great banana flavor. I'm just gonna give these a mash with a fork. Yeah, these are nice and ripe, I can smell them. When the bananas start looking really shiny, then you know they're mashed enough. And then, just because I find it easier to mix in, I melt my butter. So I have half a cup melted. She pours it in. And two types of sugar. So I have half a cup each of white and light brown sugar. She pours those on top and mixes it all together with a whisk. This recipe calls for two eggs. She adds them. But the next ingredient is what is different between a banana bread and a banana muffin batter. And that is my half a cup of buttermilk. In a banana bread recipe, you usually don't add a liquid or very little. And I find adding- She adds the milk. This half a cup- And mixes it in. Of buttermilk all of a sudden turns this batter a little cakier, which is what you want when you're picking up your muffin to eat it. That, that soft tenderness, that little bit of a treat. I'll toss in a teaspoon of vanilla. A splash right from the bottle. I mean, when it comes to vanilla and muffins, some people say, oh, you need it, don't need it. I, I'm just, I always put in vanilla out of a habit. Now she taps her whisk clean on the rim of the bowl. There we go. Now to sift in the dry ingredients. Then she rests a large sieve on the bowl's rim. One and two thirds cup of all purpose flour. She pours that into it. And I've got a teaspoon of baking powder half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now, what's very interesting, in a traditional banana bread recipe, it only calls for baking soda. And you'll notice the banana bread turns dark. If you use only baking powder, then you'll have a very light banana bread or more of a banana cake. So I've got the combination of both here, so it sort of sits in the middle. She now taps the sieve, sifting all her dry ingredients into the wet. And just a quick whisk to bring everything together. Now, this recipe makes 12 extra large muffins, and you can find these tulip cups uh, where you buy your muffin cups in most stores, or you can get 18 regular size muffins. So it's up to you. She fills the cups with an ice cream scoop. All right, now, check out the streusel after having just sat a few minutes. She stirs it. All of a sudden, you can pick it up with your fingers, take a generous pinch, and sprinkle that on top of each muffin. And there is definitely enough streusel to get a really good coating on top of each. I've preheated my oven to 375 Fahrenheit, and the extra large muffins take about 30 minutes to bake through. If you're baking regular ones, well, they only take 20. And later when they're done. The best banana muffin recipe doesn't have to be complicated. It just has to be the best banana muffin. Look at how they really rise up in the muffin tin. And you can see how the streusel got some nice crunch. Ah, oh, fantastic. Every brunch needs a great muffin, and I hope this recipe becomes a staple in your kitchen. Having unwrapped and split one, she takes a big bite, then gestures, nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm.